Welcome to F260 Week 21, 2 Kings Chapter 2, entitled, Young Adults Are Not Little Children. The highlight verse is from 2 Kings Chapter 2, verse 23 and 24, which says, There came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head, go up, thou bald head. And he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she-bears out of the wood, and tear forty and two children of them. Uh, <clears throat> explaining this, uh, after reading this text, many complain, how can we believe in a God who would send bears to devour little children for innocently teasing an old man whose appearance was probably unusual? Applying this, <clears throat> I am thankful for a resource entitled Hard Sayings of the Bible that can put these verses in their proper perspective. It refutes the complaint just stated by explaining that the problem here begins with the two Hebrew words used for little children. If we are to untangle this puzzling incident, the age and accountability level of these children must take priority. Little children is an unfortunate translation from numerous examples of the Hebrew words used here <clears throat> where ages are specified in the Old Testament. We know that these were not toddlers or even elementary school aged youngsters. These are young men aged between 12 and 30, not little children. Was Elisha an old man short on patience and a sense of humor? This charge is also distorted, for Elisha can hardly have been more than 25 when this incident happened. He lived nearly 60 years after this. Did Elisha lose his temper? What was so wrong in calling him a bald head, even if he might have not been bald, being only 25? The word bald head was used as a term of scorn in the Old Testament. Whether Elisha was prematurely bald or not, the epithet was used in utter contempt as a word of insult, marking him as despicable. Since it is highly improbable that Elisha was prematurely bald, the insult was aimed not so much at the prophet, um, the insult was aimed not, not so much at the prophet as at God who sent him. When they clamored, go on up, the youths were alluding to Elijah's translation to heaven. They did not believe or acknowledge this as God's work in their midst. It is like they were jeering, you go up too like Elijah did. Get out of here. We're tired of both of you. Uh, apparently, news of Elijah's ascension to glory traveled near and far, but was greeted with contemptuous disbelief by many, including this youthful mob. The attack was on God, not his prophet. In placing a curse on these young men, Elijah was content to leave the work of judging to God. <clears throat> My response, uh, the disastrous fall of Samaria would have been avoided had the people responded after the bear attack. But instead of turning back to God, Israel mocked God's messengers, despised his words, and scoffed his prophets until the wrath of the Lord was aroused against his people. And there was no remedy, according to Second Chronicles 36.16. Amen.